Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek with this week's What's in the Box series. Um, every week I do a video which is a small little video, hopefully less than five minutes, and I'll just reveal a backpacking or hiking gadget that I've purchased in the last week. This week, inside the box, is something I put on my feet. So if backpacking and hiking is something you're interested in, then stay tuned for this week's What's in the Box. Okay, so this week's What's in the Box, I'm going to be honest with you, a little bit disappointed with this week's What's in the Box. Sometimes, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I haven't suffered with blisters for, I can't remember how long, um, and I've got this nice little system that just works for me, and everyone's feet are, are different. But anyway, um, I convinced myself that I needed some Injinji socks. So if you don't know what Injinji socks are, these are Injinji socks, and they're meant to be absolutely awesome with regards to prevention of blisters. So they're these toe socks. I'll give you a bit of a close-up uh, of what these look like, but they fit like a glove, and they're meant to prevent blisters. Now, I think the reason why I was disappointed is partly my fault. I bought the wrong sort. So I did buy in gingy ones. These are really, really good quality. But as you can see, I bought the no-show ones. And I've got like mid-ankle boots, um, Solomon boots. So yeah, they weren't that comfortable because my bare skin was actually touching the sides of the boots. So that wasn't good when you're doing a 10-mile hike. And I'm going to be honest, they're meant to be prevention of blisters. But I actually felt a hot spot appearing on my bottom left um shoe and i don't think that was anything to do with the sock i think it was just suddenly we've got really hot heat here and i was wearing boots which is probably a bit stupid but anyway they are really really comfortable and uh, in gingy socks i would recommend these for people that i've got a couple of my walkers who've bought you know like corn plasters they could sort of go over your toes just to separate your toes so rather than putting those plasters on just wear some in gingy socks because this is what they're made for is to separate the toes so that you don't have friction together on either of the toes and they're just pretty awesome they're not that expensive these cost me 14 pounds 16 from amazon i'll put a link in the notes below um, if you're interested but unless if you're wearing shoes then get the the no-show ones uh which are just like you know like ankle um ankle socks but get the slightly longer ones if you're actually um, wearing any sort of boots or any kind of like that. So that's this week's What's in the Box, which is in Gingy Socks. So I really hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making them every single week and I'm also enjoying going on Amazon and buying little quirky things every week and just trying new stuff because this industry is just evolving constantly and that's another reason I love it. A bit of a gearhead I am. Anyway, um, on Thursday, look out for a video that's coming out, which is a review of the Nature Hike L60 uh, litre rock series pack. I'm going to do a full review after that, after using it constantly all over lockdown and on my, on my hikes. Uh, so the good, the bad and the downright ugly is coming your way on Thursday. Anyway, that's me signing out for this week. Don't forget to get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the weather. Ta-da! Bye!